Do you want to know preposition rules for transportation? Do you want to know what prepositions do we use to talk about something appearing in televised or digital media? Whether it's inline and on print, prepositions matter. Do we use in or on? Have you ever thought when we are talking about websites and blogs, do we use in website or on website or in blogs or on blogs? So today in this video, I am going to discuss about these things. Hi and welcome to another interesting lesson. I am Nadim from Mikhail's Digest. So let's start. Social media. Which prepositions do we use? So when we are talking about social media in English, it's normal to use the preposition on. For example, I posted a video on YouTube last Sunday. I have received a number of tweets on Twitter today. Let's talk on Skype today because the experience will be better. I have added over 100 new connections on LinkedIn over the past month. It's been difficult to watch free movies on the internet. But when we are talking about media in general, we still use the preposition on. For example, I am watching a great series on TV at the moment. I like when they play the hip-hop music on the radio. But when we are talking about the print media in English, it's normal to use the preposition in. For example, I saw a job advertisement in today's local newspaper. I like seeing stories about the lifestyles of celebrities in magazines. I am about to start chapter 8 in Atomic Habits. The book is very exciting. So guys, tip number 1. Think of social media as something flat that you look at or where you position yourself. Therefore, use on. Tip number 2. Think of print media as something that you have to physically open and gain access to. Therefore, use in. In English, choosing between on and in is very important and which one to use when talking about transportation is very tricky. Today, we will learn how to use each one of them and I will make it easier for you to express yourself accurately. So let's begin and let's make things clearer. On is typically used for larger forms of transportation such as buses, planes, trains, subways, cruise ships and big boats which you can stand and walk around in. Some of the examples are We are on the bus. You can enjoy on a cruise ship. Have you ever been on a plane before? I have never been on a train. The preposition in is typically used with smaller vehicles that you have to enter and sit in such as cars, taxis, trucks, carriages, canoes, kayaks, paddle boats and smaller boats in general. Now, some examples for the preposition in are I am in a taxi right now. How many people can fit in your car? Don't stand in the canoe. It's going to tip over. I saw Rahul in a carriage at Central Park. My dear friends, there are other two prepositions that we use for transportation as well. And those are by and at. The preposition by is used with all forms of transportation. For example, did you travel by car or metro? Should we go by bike or a car? We got here by bike. Can we get there by train? So dear friends, now we'll talk about the preposition at. The preposition at is used for places where you have to wait for transport. For example, I am at the station. We are at the taxi stand. We are at the airport. We are at the stop sign. We are at an intersection. We are at a crosswalk. Thank you for watching.